our child and youth programs, I would first like to welcome you all to our production of Cinderella. Secondly, I would also like to thank all of you for your support and respect during our week-long process. Give yourself a hand. Contribute. 
contribution comes straight from the heart. For a penny, I'll tell you a story, my friends. Yeah, that's what you came for now, isn't it? So, open your purse strings. It's a beautiful day. I'm Patches the Beggar, and I'm on my way. Who has a penny? Huh? A penny? Oh, wow! Yes, thank you, thank you! A penny at last! Sit down deep, sir! Yes, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's if we wait? Patches is just around the corner, I'm sure. Oh, look! It's Patches! Where? In the back. Working hard. Look at his face. A smile is what I see. Has Patches been lucky? Let's find out. I really want to know. Oh, Patches! Oh, oh Patches!
is the star of our play, a poor little orphan whose name you all know. You all know her name, don't you? Yeah, that's right, that's perfect, for this is the story of Cinderella. Oh, an echo. Well, I've heard the story dozens of times, but I'll stick around and help tell it again, for I never get tired of the magical, tragical, comical tale of the lovely Cinderella, 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 you lazy thing, why haven't you done your chores? Cinderella, close the door, my boot getting cold. Cinderella, open the window, I need some fresh air to blow up my volleyball. Cinderella, fetch me my chair, I'm tired of standing. Cinderella, from my neck, I'm such a king. Cinderella, your chores. Cinderella, my chair. Cinderella, my neck. The door. The window. Close the fire, make some tea, sweep the floor. Yes, really. Oh, really? I mean real. Now, my dears, come here, for Mother must speak with you. Not you. I'll speak with my own daughters, thank you very much. But I am. You are her stepdaughter. And now that your father is gone, you must mind your place. Yes, Mom. Mother! I mean stepmother. As you know, girls, this may be the most important year of your lives. At long last, the prince. Oh, charming the prince! Oh, baby the prince! The prince had come home from abroad, and tonight a ball will be given so that every girl in the kingdom has a chance to meet the prince, for he must choose a bride. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip, hip. Hooray! <laughs> Your stepmother went shopping just this morning and bought the most beautiful gowns and roofs and frills to make the girls look perfect! Thank you. 
pumpkin patch while I take a little nap? Come on, Cleo. That's it, Fido. There, see how easy that is? Oh, no, don't do that!
Cinderella wished she could be there to see all the wonderful lords and ladies in their finest evening clothing. <coughs> and she wished she could be there to see the king with his great ruby crown. And of course, the prince. She would watch as he asked lady after lady to dance with him. And finally, he would come to her. He would bow deeply. He would smile and say, I would be honored, my lady, if you would follow me. Oh, yes, your highness. Well, Cinderella would take the hand of the prince, and they would waltz on into the night. And from the corner of the great hall, her stepmother and stepsisters would gaze with envy. But this is the cellar and not the great hall. And surely a broom is not a prince. So Cinderella got back to work, but not for long. My turn, Patches. Now's the time. Quickly, Rags, catch up with the beggars before they make a wrong turn. Well, you'll stick around and join the fun. Happy to help. Oh, oh God, it's looking so startled. I must be dreaming. Who are you? Who am I? Who am I? You see, I am. Uh, that is to say, I was sent by. I know! You're my fairy godmother. I read about them in all the fairy tales. Fairy godmother? Sounds good to me. Why, yes, dear, of course. I'm your fairy godmother. Now tell me, dear Cinderella, what's a fairy godmother? What's a fairy godmother? Not fair. I asked you first. Why should you imagine? Like you. On my way back to the castle, the 
give advice. Now wishes in fairy tales, as I recall, last only one day, and this day is nearly over. Midnight will come in just a few hours, so you must be home before the clock strikes twelve, for then all of your wishes will just fade away. Remember, Cinderella, be home before midnight. I know this will be the most wonderful night of your life, all thanks to you. For it was your wishes that made it all come true. Now off you go. Have fun, Cinderella, and don't forget, midnight, midnight, I won't forget. She's lovely, she's gorgeous, but now I must be off. It's nap time, you know. Off you go, Annie, and thanks again for your help. Come along, come along, don't dawdle. Well, there it is, beggars. It's the prince's palace. And we've arrived just in time, for the ball is about to begin. Look, here comes the first coach of swells. And the king himself is on his way, at least so they say. A perfect time and a perfect place for beggars like us to make a few pennies. So quickly, in line! With a pitiful look, and hands outstretched. For here they come now!
will give her something more. You see, we have a surprise in store. Happiness is something that no one should miss. So we have some plans for more wedded bliss. You know the town criers that we think they both do reasons because they're always alone. They sit and cry each side by side. Now what they need, my friends, is a bride. Each needs a bride and special indeed to share their lives. Yes, that's what they need. So here are two ladies to share in your lives. And brothers and sisters, we are right. And what?
afternoon. They have had only two to four hours of rehearsal every day to learn all of their songs, lines, dances, everything that you see here. And they have done an excellent job. We're so proud of this cast. Please give them another huge round of applause. Yeah, boy, pumpkins, remember, you can't fall to the camera, that's good. 
what happens with the motors working a little bit